Fort St. John's Scottish community had a chance to celebrate their culture at the 49th annual Robert Burns Dinner. The celebration of Scotland's famous poet was hosted by the Knights of Columbus and the Shriners Saturday night and featured bagpipes, <laughs> Highland dancers, and a traditional Scottish meal centered around haggis. City Councillor Dan Davies explains why Burns was so important in Scottish history. If you look at any person, you know, 250 some years later uh, as a poet, there's nobody else celebrated in the world. I mean, even our current poets aren't celebrated as much as Robbie Burns. Uh, Robbie Burns is, is certainly a representation of, uh, of you know, of, of so much what the Scottish heritage is about. And more importantly, um, when we're talking the importance of literacy nowadays, uh, Robbie Burns was a believer in having a literate society and uh, coming, from, uh, coming from a poor family uh, where literacy, uh, literacy roles were, uh, you know, for the aristocrats only, um, he made sure and his family made sure that he could read and he and then turn also took that and gave it back to the people of, of Scotland as well. My first Robbie Burns dinner I went to was probably about 25 years ago. Um, and before that, uh, heard of Robbie Burns. Um, Auld Lang Syne, the, 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 the New Year's song, um, that was about it. Uh, and then 25 years ago, we started coming to the Robbie Burns dinner. And uh, to, I think I've maybe missed one in 25 years. Uh, and I don't think I was in town for that. So um, I've become quite a fan of who he was. I've become a fan, of course, of his poetry. Um, but more importantly, I think the stance that he takes on, that he took on literacy and, and how it fits to today as well. It's an issue, absolutely it's an issue here. Uh, it's an issue here in Fort St. John literacy. Um, so yeah, you know, it, uh, like I say, I, I think that's maybe what, what really pulls me into the whole Robbie Burns evening, uh, you know, certainly is that. And of course a party, I mean, I'm, I always enjoy a good party. So and the haggis, the meal, uh, you know, everything else, it's, it's, a, it's a great night. Readings of Burns' poetry were also done throughout the dinner. Davies says he was happy to hear one of his favorite. The Winter Dredge was, was one of my favorite. In fact, if I recall, I think I read it uh, a few years back. And uh, of course, living in a, a northern economy or a northern uh, 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 area, you know, here in, in, in Fort St. John, it kind of pulls that personal string on you. So I, I like that poem probably the best out of all of them tonight. But they're all good poems. And, and the toasts are all good, uh, you know, as well. That, uh, you know, each, each toast that's done. Uh, brings a little bit of who Robert Burns was as well. Even though each individual writes and, and performs a bit of their own toast, they still bring in something about Robbie Burns into it. Davies explains why the toasts play such a big part of the festivities. I think when you look at any formal dinner, when you're uh, recognizing and honoring anybody, uh, regardless whether you're at a wedding, we have toasts, you're at uh, retirement dinners, you have toasts. Uh, so it's, it's no different here. We're, we're honoring um, you know, a famous poet uh, you know, uh, so I mean, it, it's part of the evening to have these toasts, um, and the toasts themselves are poetry. And we had we had a couple of really good ones this evening that were very poetic and uh, well written. So yeah, it, uh, like I say, it 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 fits tonight. Uh, the toasts just make the night memorable. Bagpiper John Haggerty says Burns's writings are relatable. It speaks to speaks to common people. If you can get through the funny Scottish language uh, and, and get to reading it, I think it's something that a lot of people appreciate and that's part of the, the attraction or the charm of, of Robbie Burns is that he, he really is any one of us. He just had a, a talent for poetry and for um, expressing things in a, in a way that would be popular when written down, but it's he has the thoughts that we all have. Aside from playing the pipes, Haggerty also delivered the famous address to the haggis before dinner was served. He says that's his favorite part of the evening. I like giving the presentation to people, uh, the speech. It's, uh, it's animated, it's incomprehensible, and uh, it, it makes people smile. And, you know, if I'm... If I'm uh, orating, as it were, and I look out and I see smiles and grins on people's faces, I know that I've done a good job, and that makes me very happy. And arms and legs and heads he'll snay, like tops of thristle. Haggerty also says that the celebration is about more than the poet it took its name from. I would say it is about uh, Robbie Burns specifically, but 
and I would say it's also a, about being Scottish, but I would say it's also a celebration of the common man in, in that that's what Robbie Burns represents uh, through his poetry. With the 50th anniversary coming next year, Davies says he hopes to make it memorable. We're looking forward to the 50th anniversary uh, next year, doing something special. Maybe we'll have Sean Connery come and, and, and read one of the poems or something. We'd certainly get the numbers out, I think, if we had a big name like that. But uh, yeah, I'm not, not too sure, but certainly look for something happening special next year for the 50th anniversary. Davies said around 100 people attended the event, a mark he hopes to beat next year. For Around the Peace, I'm Hugh Smith in Fort St. John.